Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Model Works. So it's time for me to finally share with you guys what my uh, vision was for this model and um, the completed uh, base and everything that I have for it. Um, so as you can see, I wanted to make this thing look like it was driving uh, in the rally circuit. Um, and that's uh, what I've tried to do with this base. Um, the model's all dirtied up and everything, and I wanted to make it look like it was going down a dirt road, and it's in the middle of like a turn or something. Um, we got, you know, dirt dust going everywhere, um, and all of that. And so that's the uh, direction um, that I went with this base. So let me spin it around here and let you guys see from all angles. All right, I'm pretty happy with uh, how it turned out. Um, this being only the second base I've ever done, um, I think that uh, uh, what I did worked. Um, this was that piece of, I'll go, just tell you guys exactly what I did here. This was that uh, wood uh, little frame that I picked up at Walmart. Um, and then just like I did with my other base, I used a piece of styrofoam um, to fill that in. And then uh, went over that with some um, turfing material uh, from the Woodland Scenics. And then also I used some uh, real dirt, uh, dirt that I just collected out of the backyard. And uh, as you can see, I've got a, a big baggie of it here. Um, just, just dirt that I picked up from the backyard. I kind of sifted through it a little bit just to make it a little finer. Um, and I used... Uh, some white glue mixture with water to kind of make everything stick um, and raise these areas up on the sides here. Um, then I took my airbrush and kind of went in with it and recolored everything um, just because, you know, all the different dirts, they didn't match up, the different textures and things. So I went back over it with some different um, colors and things to kind of blend everything in. Um, if you notice that the... Uh, path area here or the road that the car is on this is a lighter color um, than the dirt that's on the the sides uh, and that's just so that you know it looks like a real road so that's kind of the blending that I did um, and then I've got some foliage on the sides here um, that's again just that woodland scenics you know uh, foliage that you can use for uh, dioramas and trains and all that other stuff um, then on rally circuits they have like these uh, temporary um, borders if you want to call it uh, where they put like this line on the side of the roads and I guess it's to keep the the people from getting in the road maybe I don't really know or so the cars can see where they're going um, but I used some balsa wood created the sticks and then this is just a little bit of uh, twine um, that I actually snatched from my wife and from her craft pile and so um, I decided to uh, run that through. I drilled a little bit. Of, I drilled a hole in each one of these pieces of balsa wood, and then uh, ran that through it. Um, and it kind of gives that you know red and white kind of look. Um, if you look at some rally pictures, uh, they have like a red and white border um, on there. So that's that's kind of what I was doing with that. Um, and then I wanted to make it look like there was smoke or not smoke, but dust flying up behind it because uh, you know it's supposed to be traveling down the road. Um, so this is just polyfill. It's like that um, stuffing that you can put inside of a pillow uh, or a teddy bear or something like that. Um, and so I got some of that and then I took my airbrush to it again and kind of gave it this, um, you know, kind of textured look. Uh, sprayed some different colors of browns on there to, to make it match with the dirt. Um, and I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, for the most part, it's pretty convincing that it looks like, uh, you know, dust flying up behind the car. And uh, I think I think that uh, it works. So anyway, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the base. That's that's everything I did to it. And I think, uh, like I said earlier, that I think it turned out really good. I'm happy with it. Um, kind of 
basically envisioned it how I wanted it, and it came out exactly the way I uh, had envisioned it. So uh, it'll be another base to add to my collection. This one, um, of course, is going to be pretty specific to this model. Um, I, I haven't glued the model down, and I have not glued the polyfill down, so I can take them off if I want to. Um, I could actually even pull out this little fencing, um, and because it's not that's not glued down as well, and I could use the base for something else, um, but you know I probably won't. This one's just really specific to this model because this is how I want to display this model. Um, but anyway, that's it, guys. Um, just wanted to share with you the final outcome. Uh, post some pictures up so you guys can uh, see that, and uh, let me know in the comments um, what you guys think about it. So like I always say, eat, sleep, styrene, keep building those awesome models, and I'll talk to you guys later.